Hi, I'm Steve. Um, you're probably aware of the fact that the Earth orbits around the Sun and that our orbit isn't a perfect circle. It's slightly squashed in by about 3%. And that means that we're actually 3% closer to the Sun in January, February than we are in June, July. People in the Northern Hemisphere are surprised by this because they'd say, well, if we're closer to the sun in January and February, why the heck is it so cold? Well, it turns out that actually the distance from the sun isn't as important as the angular tilt of our planet. So when the tilt is this way and the sun's coming this way, it's lighting up the upper half of the earth a bit more than the bottom half. So we get summer when the axis is tilted that way in the northern hemisphere and winter in the southern hemisphere and the distance from the sun doesn't matter very much. However, there is a thing called a Milankovic uh, cycle, which is that about every 400,000 years, Venus and Jupiter line up in such a way as to disrupt our orbit a little bit. And when, they, when that happens, the, instead of being 3% away from the sun, sometimes we're the same winter and summer, same orbital distance. And other times we're 5% closer orbital distance, which means that the climate changes about every 400,000 years. And scientists have been investigating this, have discovered that we can track these cycles back up to about 80 million years ago, uh, looking at fossils of tiny little sea creatures and things like that, they, they can date accurately, and they can see that they grow more in the times when the Earth is closer to the sun than further away. So the orbital distance does matter, it just doesn't matter a whole lot. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.